In this video, you'll get a detailed explanation of the answers to this naming alkenes exercise. The first one is fairly simple. It's just an alkene with no other functional groups, and it's acyclic. So we start by finding our longest chain. So if we count one, two, three, four, five, that's our longest chain. So I'm going to circle it. Then we need to number our chain. It's easy when you have an alkene because you start at the end closest to the alkene. So I'm numbering right to left. And that gives me a five carbon chain, which is pent. The ending for alkenes is ene, so pentene. My alkene begins at carbon two. So out in front of the name stem, I put a two. And at carbon two, I have a methyl group also. So this one is named 2-methyl-2-pentene. The next one's a little bit more complicated because we have a bromine and an alkene. So we need to make sure we include this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon in our main chain. And if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's our longest possible chain that includes all three of those carbons. So I'm going to circle that. And again, I'm just going to number at the end closest to the alkene. So I have a six carbon chain. That is a hexene because ene contains an alkene. The alkene is located at carbon two. I have two other groups I need to account for, the bromo and the methyl. I list these in alphabetical order. The bromine is on carbon four, so I say four bromo, two methyl. So the whole name is four bromo, two methyl, two hexene. The next one contains an alkene and an alcohol. So we need to make sure that those three carbons are included in our main chain. If I count straight across one, two, three, four, five, six, that's my parent chain because it's the longest chain including those three carbons. Alcohols have higher priority than alkenes, so I need to start closest to the alcohol. Again, I've got a six carbon chain, so that's hex. When you have multiple functional groups in the same compound, you need to list the numbers in front of the suffix. So this is going to be hex 4-ene 2-all, so that I know my alkene starts at carbon 4, my alcohol is at carbon 2, and not the other way around. I could have taken one of these numbers and put it out in front of the hex as well. The only other groups I have attached are a couple of methyl groups and one is located at four and the other is at five. So it's four, five, dimethyl, hex, four, ene, two, all. Next we have an exocyclic alkene. So we name the alkane and it's six carbons. So this is a cyclohexane. Notice that because it's exocyclic, which means it's outside of the ring. We say ane at the end of the cycloalkene. So this is called methylene, which tells you where the double bond is and that it's a one carbon extension of the cyclic structure. So this is methylene cyclohexane. Next, I have a six-membered ring with a double bond and a chlorine attached. The double bond is the most important thing, so we want it to be between carbons one and two. If we start here, that gives the chlorine and the methyl the lowest numbers as well. If we started over here, these wouldn't be until carbons five and six. So my ending is gonna be cyclohexene. You can say the one or you can leave it off because it's the only functional group. 
I'm going to choose to say the one in front of one cyclohexene so we know it starts at carbon one. We have a chlorine and a methyl, C before M alphabetically, so we say three chloro, four methyl. So three chloro, four methyl, one cyclohexene. This last one, we have an alcohol group and we have two alkenes. So the end of our name is going to have the word diene, di because there's two double bonds, and then all at the end because of the alcohol. As far as numbering goes, we're going to number starting with the alcohol. It doesn't matter which way we go because the double bonds would be at three and five no matter which direction we went. This is a seven-membered ring. So seven is hept. So this one has a name stem hept. And then because we have two double bonds, we say heptadiene. So that means we have two alkenes. We leave the A in be just because heptadiene is kind of awkward to say. So it's heptadiene, which is easier to say. We're going to put a one in front of the all to say that that's at carbon one. And out in front, we're going to put three and five because that's where our double bonds start. I could have also put the three and the five in front of the diene, but it's a little less awkward to say three, five, heptadiene, one all. So that's the only reason why I chose them to put them there.